You ready? Yeah. Hey, is this thing crooked? No, it's straight. Okay. Hey, it's Brickzar. And there might be bricks. And it's time for Brickzar answer thingy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah we used old. to do the Batman thing. Yeah. All right, so we're going to answer one bat question, and then following that, I'm tying this in the question with some thoughts I have on YouTube. I thought about doing some uh, YouTube tips videos, but that's not what this channel is about. But I do have some observations I've made that I like to include at the end of this video. So let's get right to it. This is a Bricks Art Answer Thingy question, and it comes from the Brick Maniac. You have it. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yes. <laughs> so, you want me to read it? Sure, read it. Okay. Brick Maniac. I've been considering taking up model railway as a second hobby. Do you have any suggestions on how to make up enough time to have Lego and model railway as a hobby? <laughs> okay. Well, we do it. I mean, kind of. I boy. told him I've been, actually been thinking about this a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, you can't make up time. That's the only Yeah. <laughs> we need more time. We need a time machine. Mm -hmm. um, down here, I'm looking at a bunch of Thomas and Friends trains. I actually have Lego train tracks, wooden train tracks, Bachman HO scale train tracks, Fisher Price Trackmaster train tracks. I got Bachman G scale train tracks, Bachman N scale trains. Mm -hmm. I like N scale. In addition to stuff that's mixed in with the Lego. Now, we still love Lego. Yeah, Lego is still my favorite toy. What have you been thinking about with Lego? Uh, the GBC Great Ball Contraptions like you've seen on different shows. Those are really cool. All right. So how does any of this help answer his question? Well, you see a lot of videos we do. He has You have trains are and bricks are. You, um, you pre-record a lot of your videos and schedule them to upload. But he's talking about, I don't know if he's... Just, saying, he's, just, he's not talking about yeah. making videos. He's, he's just, just talking, talking about, about doing, doing it. I mean, we haven't really uh, worked on our model railroad a lot. We've done a lot on yeah. it, but we haven't you, finished it. I think lately I've focused more on the non-Lego train stuff than I have the Lego, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean I don't like Lego any less. Um, it's just a matter of, I think one thing you can do is combine the hobbies. Yeah. I think with the great ball contraptions that you're looking at, you know, most of them, they're going to be, try to make it out of all Lego pieces but mm -hmm. some people use other things to control them what's that uh that one guy that does the, the train remote control stuff i don't there's there's um two guys one of them's one of them's name is david and then one of them's name is akiyuki he lives yeah. in a different country he uh he's made a train station um that's all technic and using power functions and he has to you have to build your own wheels and stuff or using lego okay. parts yeah so you uh, but there are other things even that are non-Lego. For instance, one of the YouTubers I've just discovered in the last couple of months, and actually he inspired me. If you've seen my Trains Are uh, channel, I've bought these little wind-up Thomas the Tank Engine toys, and it's because of this guy. His channel is Fuji CCO 777 <laughs> <laughs> And he makes the N-Scale, which is the small uh, model trains, but he takes... Lego pieces and built the oh, train yeah, bodies. Oh yeah, I saw that. You know, those, those are awesome. And there's are so little, but, uh -huh. it, it, but he'll ha he has to modify the pieces. Like he'll have to cut out mm -hmm. the insides uh, of a brick, or he'll have to drill a hole in it. It's understandable, yeah. I guess, because if you want to make it that small, it's, he, it's still cool. It is cool. Yeah, and that's he, uh, we're making um, get using like a slot car base and put actual Lego pieces on. So yes, that. and I've I've seen people do that. And we got the non Lego slot cars that are brick built. Mm -hmm. And now that we got the A-Team van, I oh, think yeah. we need to build a brick-built slot car out of, like, you know, your Lego pieces. <laughs> Looking at the TIE Fighter out there, I was like, we need to make an A-Team TIE Fighter. And, like, you know how it's gray and make that red? Yeah, the colors just work. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I just, I now <laughs> thought well, of that. You know, we've done the thing with the A-Team van that you made that was kind of the vintage-style mm -hmm, yeah. A-Team, and mm -hmm. we've always, like, would throw it in a video, and it's like... Maybe we need to do... You know how people do conversions of sets mm -hmm. to some other theme? Like, they did a uh, Benny Spaceship, but, like, um, a wind... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a windmill. You know, like steampunk people do yeah. stuff. You, you, yeah, you may make um, the plumbing truck look like Benny Spaceship. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So, we could just make every vehicle or building convert it to 18. Yeah, we should make an 18 <laughs> Palace Cinema. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got way off topic from... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what would be cool? A team roller coaster or Ferris wheel. Yeah, see. But see what we're doing here? We're combining things that we love. So, my recommend 
recommendation to you, Brick Maniac, is combine those things. Don't feel like you got to keep them separate. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy your Lego if you can mix it in with trains. That Fuji CCO 777. I don't even know how he says that. He never speaks in the videos that I've watched so far, but he takes the little. Get that windmill. Yeah. So he'll take little Lego structures about this size, and he'll have them in the background of his model train layout. So uh, it, it is really neat. And actually, you know when you think about it, you know I've been doing my vintage series. Lego, actually, the biggest part of their production in the 50s seemed to be around HO scale stuff. They made HO mm -hmm. scale vehicles. They're yeah. all over here. Oh, well, you can't. They're, they're behind that train yeah. there. <laughs> But, and those were made to go with trains, mm -hmm. uh, the HO scale trains that I do a lot. So, so Lego technically was kind of helping you back in time before wow. you were... <laughs> It's like, you know, I didn't even think about that when I was, I th I've been thinking about this question forever and it didn't even occur to me that Lego had the answer already in the 50s. It's like Lego, they, they probably, like, we probably, they probably want to bring monorail back, but there's got to be a reason for it. I bet there's a lot of stuff that we've considered that they want to do, but there's got to be some reason why they haven't yet. It's always about money, and that's probably why they got out of the, um, the model HO scale trains, mm -hmm. and they don't, they didn't do those anymore. They just stuck to the brick built system, so mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. So. I hope that helps you, Brick Maniac. What about you guys? What do you think? Is it, How do you juggle uh, having multiple hobbies? You know, I, I should have opened with this. It's like I got, I, yeah, I got two or three or ten hobbies. <laughs> yeah. And if you count YouTube, that's another one. Oh, my goodness. And you got uh, three YouTube channels, so three hobbies. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. It's like, I like playing video games, sound like Lego. Yeah. We got Lego Star Wars video yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like with a, a sport. If you want to get good at something, you got to focus mm -hmm. on that one thing. So I've been focusing on my Trains Art channel because I love it. It's easy. It's different than the Lego content. I still love Lego. How many sets do you think we've built that we've never even reviewed? You've there's, built, there's a bunch. built a lot. Yeah. I think there's probably over 50 sets that he has built. You know, think of all those big Star Wars sets you built. Oh, we haven't. I haven't reviewed it, none of, of these. the none of those. Um, there, there's some of the vintage stuff I still haven't reviewed. There's all the big Star Wars ships you built. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just tons of set. All the all the superhero stuff we oh, never yeah. reviewed. Oh yeah, those are. That's one thing I do like about Lego. Their superhero sets mm -hmm. are very awesome. Yeah. Um, I just had the perfect idea. You know, the lots of dump truck. Like yeah. the eighteen dump truck. Eighteen dump truck. 18 garbage truck. Oh, well, I was this looking goes at that on. one right there, and I was like, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, con convert the recycled truck to 18. 18 yeah. Uh, that's, we're going to be buying a lot of black and red, apparently. So, <laughs> what I've discovered now, um, Briggs are, this is my Lego channel, and um, a lot of times we don't like to talk about uh, goals with the channel. You know, everybody wants to grow. I don't think yeah. anybody, I mean, yeah, we can do YouTube for fun, and that's a good reason to do it. But you want to see your channel grow. Mm -hmm. you do, but yeah, you don't want to ever feel like YouTube is like something that like work. Well, yeah, you're, <laughs> you see, that's why a lot of gamers and they do live streams. That kind of you have to have two different games. So I play one for live streams and one not. So when you're playing the actual game, you're like, am I doing work? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, that's what YouTube can, can become work. And if you go to Social Blade, you can look at uh, channels growth over several years. And mine kind of looks like a mountain. If you look at the graph of mm -hmm. views over time, it goes up and up and up. And then in 2015, it really went up, and then it went, yeah. and then it's leveled off. And it's funny, if you take that mountain, and you go, you go look at Brick Queen and Brick Show and a lot of other channels, the mountain, and it may have little different peaks, but it's basically the same. You went up, and then 2015, you went down. Mm -hmm. Why? Did, what did those channels do differently that caused their channels to go down? Well, I got some tips for uh, growing on YouTube. And this is why my train channel is doing good. Mm -hmm. And I want to try to apply those things here at Brickzart. Now, the YouTube algorithm changed in 2015. And that, I think that's the number one reason why some of these channels like mine and Brick Show and Brick Queen, they kind of went down because not that they did things differently, but the algorithm changed and they didn't adjust 
we didn't adjust mm -hmm. uh, our strategies based on that. Now we, you know, you're thinking we shouldn't be focused on an algorithm. We're we're focused on people. I work for a company that is so data intrinsic that I end up working for a spreadsheet instead of actual customer, mm -hmm. and it's very frustrating to me. So then when I see this algorithm that's supposed to be making sure that people are actually watching the videos and it's, the videos are for people and their people are wanting to share them yet it's still a robot it's like I can the, the, the analytic part of me comes out and that's why I try not to get too involved in the analytics because it can become pretty boring but I am pretty good at uh, playing for the spreadsheets <laughs> yeah I think my least favorite thing about YouTube is a line graph a line graph so that I bored everybody already but <laughs> So, we talked about some of this. I, I went over this with some some of these ideas with him. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the single most important thing for your channel to be promoted by YouTube and to be high in the search results? Tags. Those are important. Uh, <laughs> um, it is kind of a uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg thing, but it's actually how long people watch your videos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So your session time is really one of the most important factors. For But I can how are they going to watch your video if they don't find it in the first place? Yeah. So uh, if you have a video that does do well and it, has, and it leads to session time, and session time is not just how long they watch your videos, but how long they watch other videos after coming to your videos, uh, that is what's going to promote your video. So how do you increase session time? You don't make the videos too long or too short. You make them just right. Yeah. And I w we were sitting at dinner table tonight, and you said the exact number. We're not going to say it. And don't say it. I'm not going to say it, but like what I said wasn't anything. I looked up something. I just thought because it's it, what I it, it, it's normal. I was like, whoa. He's like, I mean, he like, not, not only joking? did he, <laughs> he came up with the exact number. There is this minimum number that is a goal that I have. Like when I see that number. <sighs> I couldn't believe he said it because it is exactly right. When I see that number on a video, I'm like, I'm so what is the this. number? Comment below. So that's the number one thing. Now, really, more important than that, but it's not because the analytics are what causes you to get views by the session time is, but to get people to stay on your video longer, what does it have to be? It has to be entertaining. Exactly. So it needs to be interesting. It needs to be something that somebody likes. And the best way to do that is to tell story. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not talking about, you know, you're talking about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's why <laughs> vlogs get a lot of views. Vlogs do get, if their story is told well. I mean, you can't yeah. just get up there, here's my day, I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. You gotta be like, yeah um, guys, we're gonna be, you have to be like, yeah guys, we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts today. People Maybe can I make get this donut. going to the laundromat exciting <laughs> yeah. by the way they present it. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why Casey Neistat is so good is mm -hmm. because he can take the most mundane thing and make it entertaining, but it's it's him. Mm -hmm. He is a storyteller. He's good at that. And you, I kind of chuckle at people that try to imitate his style. He mm -hmm. does have a style to him, but you can't you can't fake being yourself. You have to you be original. <laughs> you you got to be you. So tell an interesting story. And I actually got that from Casey Neistat. Mm -hmm. He said, "Forget about all this other stuff. The equipment, the gear." tell a story because a lot of popular popular youtubers probably just have like one camera yeah and or well, their they, iPhone. well you know some people talk about having like a high quality camera you want to have a good quality yeah. and, I, and i've upgraded just in the last couple of weeks we got this iphone 7 it's been less than a week hasn't it yeah we're actually filming this with iphone 7 i hope the thing's still recording i think it is oh let me go check yeah okay <laughs> it wouldn't be a video without checking don't bump it <laughs> oh man i have to get up yeah, it's a recorder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, another thing. Tell a story. Now, the third thing on my list is trends. You know what trends are? That's uh, what's like popular and yeah. certain times. So what people are talking about. And for me, it's a little more challenging because some of the trends I'm not going to get. Yeah, a lot of them are like world related. And stuff yeah, like, like I'm not going to be jumping on the politics, the holidays things like that that's those other people's business I don't really mm -hmm. have an interest so I, I lose out on that because I don't but actually 
personally, I don't feel like I'm losing it. Yeah, we're <laughs> saying. <laughs> but uh, so, like, if it's a movie that's coming out that everybody's talking about, or uh, a current event that's interesting, like, uh, or you know, this National Pirate Day or well, World yeah, Pirate Day, Batman Day. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I tried that with Shark Week, but I. I really should have made those videos well in advance. You made it like Shark Year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did Shark Month, and I was still doing. I never did it all the vi did all the videos, but I'm gonna make. I just had an idea to make like an A Team Challenge where each of our videos had to have the A Team band in it somewhere. Yeah. I want to do a tutorial. A Team should be trending all the time. Hashtag yeah. A Team. Yeah, <laughs> I want to make. I want to do a tutorial on how to make a simple A Team band so anyone can make it put in their videos. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, oh, there, there is a guy that I think he's in one of those countries that I can't. Speak the language like Czechoslovakia. He made the remote control. One. Actually, that's not a country anymore, like Russia <laughs> or Czech Republic. But he made the uh, the small eighteen band. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, he's got a very good video, and I need to find it again. All right, so number four is jump cuts. That's where like all summer right here, then right. right here, then right here. <laughs> yeah, now, it keeps people's interest. <laughs> like, and technically. It is not the jump cuts. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, jump cuts can be annoying to mm -hmm. some yeah, people. If they have it too much, I only I usually like them like every like ten seconds. And I'm not going to be editing out fluff in this video. I'm not even going to apply this one. But it's, it's like why, jump cut all time right here. But <laughs> that is why these videos, and it's not the jump cuts. It's changing the view. Mm -hmm. And a good rule of thumb is six seconds. Now, um. Go back to this Casey Neistat guy again. I challenge you to count to beyond six without the scene changing in the video. Mm -hmm. And I've watched a lot of movies, television shows. If you count to six, most of them, you've changed the scene. Especially the... Uh, so there Transformers was, is the worst. And the first episode of Flash had like a hundred, like switching back and forth yeah. in different scenes. You don't want to get it too much, mm -hmm. but and it doesn't have to be every six seconds. But you don't want to make it like Flash Gordon. I recently yeah. watched that. And I was like, they did it perfectly. Yeah, so what I what I could do if I it's going to be a long video, but I could just take it where when you're talking, I could have the I could crop it where it's on you when I'm talking, crop it on me. If we were showing something, I could put a still image in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is why um, I think this is something that just too good uh, used to be just too good Euro Bricks. Mm -hmm. I think this is something he does well is that when he does his top list he um, has a, a lot of different images in there but and he's telling a story while yeah. he's going through his list mm -hmm. so that's why and that goes back to something else that I, I meant to talk about but I didn't but you know why certain channels grow it's because you do things that the algorithm likes that make people want to, and then people in turn share it mm -hmm. and so because like I, I i did like his top 10 ugly minifigures or scary minifigures yeah that galador <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> we shouldn't talk about yeah galador. we got a friend that has some galador i still can't get him to sell me those he's they've yeah. been in, they've been in a storage bin for 10 I mean, years had, up there and he, he's afraid to sell them to me because he, I know a lot about Lego pieces. Yeah. And they're still up there, but he's got those... Got, he's got like, yeah, he's got like the green, the green lizard one. I want to get those so bad. And then there's nothing really valuable in that lot yeah. either. I'm not just saying that so I can get a lower price. <laughs> All right, another thing. And I learned this when I went to Philly Brickfest, and I did, never would have thought it in a million years because I hate these things, but it's poles. Do you know what a pole is? It's where you have like... Okay, guys, see what you think I have right here, yes or no? I, oh, I thought it was the thing that held up the mind bender. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or like... <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, And the reason that it is good is it gets people involved in the discussion. I do poll, polls. Like, uh, one of them is like, would you rather see a, a new Marvel movie, new DVDs, and stuff like that? <laughs> Yeah, so those interactive cards make it easier to do polls. Google Plus, well, no, nobody uses Google Plus. Forget no, about Google Plus. Don't mention Google but, um, Plus. <laughs> yeah, doing those information cards where people or where they can choose something, and then encouraging them also to comment because engagement in your videos, the thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, good comments, bad comments, all that helps your video. Yeah, a lot of people like a lot of people unlock unlike my video. So I, people like unlike my video. I'm like, yeah, I've seen way. people turn off the ratings because they didn't like the number mm -hmm. of dislikes they were getting. I think that's a huge mistake because mm -hmm. there are videos out there that got more dislikes than likes that have done very well. So I, I 
I wouldn't turn off the ratings if I was you. So like the, that horrible thirteen year old singer boy. <laughs> well, that he, was. He's got like the most disliked video in the world. Well, yeah. I, I so that's another thing that is not on my list, but can make your channel grow because a lot of channels went to becoming drama channels, mm -hmm. and I don't. I don't think it's good to become a drama channel where where you're just totally not slandering but you know he that yeah. little boy you're talking about he was well he was talking about some bad people so <laughs> never mind <Yeah. laughs> but he used bad language uh, yeah. i don't encourage that uh number six i only got seven things on my list we're at number six is playlist oh yeah yeah, yeah. i have a playlist on mine you should see my play i got like <laughs> Top ten favorite movie scenes playlist. Yeah. You need to check and, that out. and your playlist can include your videos, other people's videos, your pe videos mixed in with other people's videos. But when you share one of your videos, share it in a playlist. Mm -hmm. So oh, people be able to see other ones. And you could start off with your video, and then have some really really good videos in there. And if people started with your channel and then they went and watched these other good videos, that only helps you out. So remember, we're a community. We're not all competition. Mm -hmm. So playlists, uh, having your home page. So many people, when I go, I'll go to some people's channel and it'll say has no content. Yeah, that. When you say that, what is the first thing you think? No playlists. No? <laughs> no video. No videos. Yeah. It says no content. But what happens when you click on the video button? You'll see videos. They'll have, sometimes have hundreds of videos. That's why whenever, <sighs> whenever I, some people I know want to make a YouTube channel, I got we got to tell them have the channel trailer. That's I how have you, a channel trailer. Channel trailer. Very important. Not only is it important, but it also, it, also, it also looks good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Number seven is be consistent. And that means put out the videos regularly. And another key is don't... If you find something that it's successful, that is doing really, really good, don't deviate from mm -hmm. it. It's a mistake I have made when my slot car videos were doing good. With the train crashes, I should have kept doing that. I didn't. I did other things. I did comic books. I didn't. Uh, Remember Geo Tracks? Well, the Geo Tracks was good. That was actually my first successful video. Yeah, we should have kept. If doing... I kept doing Geo Tracks videos at that time, we would have grown. Mm -hmm. we, we would be big channel right now. We would be Ryan's Toys Reviews yeah. if we had done that. <laughs> if we'd kept doing that in 2007. Yeah. But so That's why they. Don't, <laughs> but you know. Don't deviate from what. It's, now, if you haven't got to that point where you've had either a video that's kind of going semi-viral or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you keep experimenting. But it's if you find something that works, stick to that formula as closely as you can. Because let's say if you do a video and it's, uh, like say I do some train videos. If I follow up with Polly Pockets or yeah. Dora the Explorer after the train video, I'm going to lose... <laughs> those people the people say I subscribed to you for this train video now yeah. you're doing this so it's got to be consistent uh, to that that's what I'm talking about what do you think is our here's a bat well, well, go ahead here's our here's a bat for you what do you think is our favorite original video from 2013 and below oh my goodness that's a tough one to answer of ours or just any a YouTube video any video that mean you have made oh did we upload any videos yeah we did uh, you know, 2012, the late 2012 is when we really kind of got more serious uploading videos. Mm -hmm. um, of the early videos, it's the 2x4 brick video. Um, any of your videos that were actually filmed before then, the um, cardboard box, mm -hmm. make a Minecraft hat. I'll make a Lego the, TV. The, the, <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever uploaded you that. You did? One. I did? Uh -huh. I think it's on my channel. Okay. I think my favorite video is the slot cars where it's like, hey guys, it's Jay Olson. Oh, and this is a classic. Okay, I'm, gl I'm so glad you brought that up. Uh, I got two of those videos. One of them has 2.6 million views. The other one has 900,000 views. I know what I could change on the one that has the 900,000 views that would have helped to get more views. You know what it is? That video starts off with seven seconds of a still shot. And it's crashes. If I could just, if I could cut out that no, no, a steel shot. You know, a steel, not moving. It starts out with seven seconds of... You're waiting for... No, no, seven seconds of... Are you counting seven? Okay, I'm seven. Nothing. There's nothing happening. 
for seven seconds. I'm sorry. No. No, do you understand <laughs> yeah. what that means? It means in those seven seconds, I lose most of the audience. Mm -hmm. The other video that has 2.6 million views is... Mm -hmm. It's your sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually went and tried to edit it today. To, I just, all I want to do is cut out those seven seconds at the beginning. I can't do it because it has too many views. Oh, that, but you can't I, do that? No. That's I dumb. You I, could, I could cut it out and re-upload it. But I don't really want to do that. That's a, too big of a risk. Yeah. Way well, it wouldn't, big of a risk. it wouldn't hurt that video, but it's like, it would. maybe I should try that. Just cut out, I'll, I'll just cut out the seven seconds. That I think that video would also be in the millions of views. But it's, there's nothing happening in that seven seconds, so... <laughs> We should. You should see if you can get all those sound effects and make so we can use them in other videos. I do. I, I want to do that. I want to create a folder. What do they call those things? Not zingers, but uh, like the guy that works at the radio station that has the little button hotkeys. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. push my buttons. Yeah, something like that. So I want to create a hotkey folder on my computer that has all those things. I one of my favorite videos that I did was one of the unboxings of the. Um, uh, that's not one of the old videos, but it's one with the uh, Brick Builders Club, and I used. Uh, scenes from your cardboard box. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's the one yeah. with the. Uh, <laughs> is it the one with the uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey reference? I can't. Remember. I gotta go find that one. Or the one where I'm like, oh look, this two by four brick. This is rare. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's out, hall number four. That's probably the best hall. That's video the we've ever that, that's, that is the video that turn this channel around not because it was a good video because it was an annoying video <laughs> <laughs> and I got a sarcastic remark and comment that, in it the one comment can make that whole difference that's, that defined my entire channel like if we could meet that guy in real life so, we'd be like oh thank I'd you get, I'd give him the biggest hug mm -hmm. uh, and, and so that's why I say don't don't diss all the haters mm -hmm. learn from it they hate they hate they, they may hate you, but they help you. Yeah, they can help you. You can learn. So I haters hope you've help. enjoyed this video. It's one of our longer ones. Hashtag haters help. I did, you know, I want to be honest with you. I actually filmed this video by myself. It was about 12 minutes long, and I just did not like it. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the video at all. So I think I like this one. Better. Yeah, me Tell too. Tell me what you think. Anything else? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. We need dun. to make a team TIE Fighter and Garbage Truck and Ferris Wheel. 18 Bionicle. 18 well, Thomas and Friends. 18 Galador. Oh, we should make You, you were going to do the monorail. You we should make that. this 18. 18 Dragon. Um, 18, 18 Yoda. Robot. 18 London Bus. 18 VW Beetle. There you go. 18. 18, 18 Van. Yeah. <laughs> Have 18, like 18 Van with 18 T1. Van. Yeah. Um, uh, we should use that yellow sphere that I made from that project. I don't in think Fort they Curry. can see that. That's far well, 18 Planet, 18 Sun. 18. Planet 18. 18 everything. Awesome. Be sure to subscribe. Go check out They Might Be Breached. We need to do some gameplay over there. 18 like Space Shuttle. Awesome. 18 Bulldozers. 18 Simpsons House. I collect bulldozers. I collect RVs. I collect trains. Real life ones I too. Not I collect <laughs> telephones. I collect toilets. 18 Toilet! 18 Telephone Booth. We gotta get to work. 18 Bill and Ted. <laughs> Twenty-eight minutes. Dad, don't edit anything out <laughs> except you know when I have to go. But uh.